Now, if you're feeling a little bit brassed off that Radio 2 is all topsy-turvy today, well, fear not, because we've got a very, very special treat to get you in the mood, so to speak. We're going to cross live now to Media City uh, in Salford, where hopefully we can speak to one of the finest trumpet players and conductors in our fine land and host of Wednesday night's Radio 2's Listen to the Band, Mr Frank Renton. Good morning, Frank. Good morning, Zoe. You have a way with words. (laughs) Do you know what? You're the first person who's ever said that, Frank. Uh, (laughs) What gets you dancing, Mr Frank Renton? just about anything that's about 30 years younger than me and beautifully dressed. Ah, (laughs) he's such a charmer. Um, I'd heard that about you. Uh, When did you first pick up a trumpet, Frank? How old were you? I was 10, on my 10th birthday. My uh, my dad's uncle came to the house and that was it. I was off and running. Fantastic. So why the tr- why did he buy your trumpet? What was it? He was know, a trumpet rather player. Than the tr- oh, I see. I'd, I'd played the piano as a, a youngster. Yeah. Uh, I, what I didn't know was that Harold Webster, who was my dad's uncle, was a professional trumpet player in London, okay. come back to live in Yorkshire and was determined that uh, his great uh, nephew would be a trumpet player too. And passed it down. So from trumpet playing, when did you start conducting? When I was in the army, I well, before that really, I suppose in the in the sixties I started working with brass bands. But then I became an army bandmaster, and spent thirty three years touring around the world, conducting bands and orchestra for Her Majesty. Fantastic! What a what a wonderful way to spend your life. Uh, now you've brought some very special friends along with you today, uh, the core members of the Grimethorpe Colliery Band. We have to say that because they all have day jobs, ladies and gentlemen. So some of them have had to go to work today, but we do have some of the finest members, don't we, Frank? We do indeed. Uh, now you were a conductor, of course, with the Grimethorpe Colliery Band back when the pits closed in 1992, which was the year that the band won the National Brass Championships That's at right. the Royal Albert Hall, and this tale inspired the film Brassed Off. That's it. So I'm wondering were you the inspiration for Pete Postlethwaite's character? Pete and I have talked about it actually. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, he, he, I was the conductor of the band and he played the conductor of the band but the story wasn't about me, the story was about the pit and the band and, and, and the whole social interaction of, uh, of how a pit village and its music worked and, and that was the core of the story and that's why it was so popular and remains so popular to this day to this day with the lovely the wonderful great um late pete bothelswaite now in the band we must point out we have two finalists from previous radio two young brass soloists of the year events we've got mr jamie cooper and mr danny powell uh, danny was also the recipient of a bbc fame academy educational bursary we are talking class ladies and gentlemen uh, and we have the percussionist john watterson and flugel soloist uh, uh, Andy Holmes, and they've been with the band for about 20 years now. I know. They, re- they, they, they can settle, I think, now. They, can- <laughs> they feel all right there. Um, well, thank you so much for all of you coming in to play for us today. Actually, are there any ladies in the band today? We have one young we- lady, Hannah, who is sitting in the trumpet section. Um, we don't often have ladies in Grimethorpe uh, right. because of basically the, the social thing of the pit. You know, the, in the old days, course, you didn't find many women yep. working underground, so it was unusual that there would be women in the band. But but times are changing. More and more young women are being invited to play with the band now. Fantastic. Well, what are you going to perform for us this We're morning? We're going to play an arrangement of In the Mood, as you so rightly told the nation. <laughs> you spotted that then. Yes, uh, I did. Well, thank you so much. Will you be playing the trumpet, Frank? Of, well, of course. Uh, you know, we started a year ago to to play with Jules Holland, and now it's my On privilege to play then. with Grimethorpe. Fantastic. Well, take it away, Mr. Frank Renton, playing trumpet and conducting the Grimethorpe Colliery Band with In the Mood. <laughs> Thank you. 
Pick. Oh, Frank Renton playing the trumpet and conducting the Grimethorpe Colliery Band uh, to Glenn Miller's In the Mood. Lynn Bowles has just informed me that there are lyrics to There are words to that. To that. So I, I know didn't even them. know there were yeah. words to it. Uh, Rachel in Woodbridge says, wow, how fabulous. Susie says, goosebumps, I've gone already. I have got a tear in my eye. You can hear Frank uh, with Listen to the Band every Wednesday night on Radio 2 at 9.30. How special. I feel very lucky to have had that. Thank you to the band and to Frank. Uh, More songs we love to dance to on the way on Radio 2. For over 50 years, they've recognised excellence in songwriting. And this week, BBC Radio 2 pays its own tribute to the Ivers. Never mind, I'll find someone Performing the work of Adele, Elton John and the Beatles, the BBC Concert Orchestra are joined by guest singer and five times winner Mike Batt. Find out how to buy your ticket at the Radio 2 website. Paul Gambaccini presents this unique show from the Watford Coliseum. Friday from 8 and online now at the Radio 2 website. BBC Radio 2 so I'm going to start with the good news. There was a breakdown on the A720, the Edinburgh City Bypass. It's all cleared now. It's westbound at the A7, the Sheriff Hall roundabout. A uh, broken down van in Glasgow being removed from Junction uh, 17 through to 16. This is eastbound on the M8, uh, Great Western Road through to Craig Hall. Watch out for some delays, though. If you're heading for Middlesbrough, there's been an accident which is delaying you on the southbound A19. Now, that's blocked a lane very close at uh, to the A689, the Wolverston roundabout. Very slow on the approach, say our callers. Uh, one lane blocked on the M1 if you are travelling north before Junction 40. Wakefield queues back to Junction 39 and an accident just north of Newmarket has closed the southbound A142 at the A14 interchange. Accident on the M20 in Kent getting better. We've just got the one lane closed now northbound between Junction 11, Hythe and Junction 10 at Ashford. I'll have more in half an hour. Will you have more? I, I love it when you make promises, Lynn Thank Bowles. You. Thank you. Uh, hi, Zoe and Lynn. Me and my school friends used to pretend to be a band and do In the Mood in the school changing rooms, end up laughing like maniacs as we joined in with the big bits. Uh, thanks for the reminder. That's from Lindy Lou in Atherstone. In the Mood, fantastic, says Paul. Had to stop the car. And Claire and Blackpool says, Well done, Grimethorpe. You got me on the first note. There's more, Lynn. There's and more to come. You were dancing all the way through that as well. I know. It's, apologies it's pretty for the, scary. those moves. Yeah. Um, I thought we were in unison there. Now, now, speaking of dancing yep. okay this next song uh, mentions 16 different types of dancing Lynn Bowles okay. how is your pony my mashed potato is better oh is your mashed potato yeah. I've heard that you want to see my white horse thing <laughs> take it away Wilson promises promises
Wilson Pickett on Radio 2. And I must tell you, Lynn Bowles is definitely the mystery of the po- uh, the mistress of the pony. You should check out her yo-yos. Now, if you're missing Christoph this morning, uh, fear not. He will be here on Radio 2 tonight, rounding off the whole of today with a show. My Lord, look at this list. He's on from six o'clock. OK, he'll have live music from Jamie Cullum, Bellowhead, Chris Rea, The Jersey Boys, Tom Jones and Jesse J duetting. Woohoo! Yeah, hello. That deserves a cheer. You, Bob, Bob, the boss, come on, join in. And uh, also Keen, 